Yeah, I'm with Claude Hay today, and um, he's a one-man blues man. So, when did you get started in the music industry there, Claude? Uh, when? Um, I got probably started about 15 years ago. I was in high school, and uh, and I uh, just kind of always noodled around with guitar, I suppose. And then at the end of the year, we had a um, you know, like you have your final music presentation thing, like a show at the end of the year, end of the end of the, the, the high school thing, really. So it was like a you know a final night, and we got up and put put slapped the band together and did a thing. And that was my first gig and my first you know. And from then on, I just thought, wow, this is so much fun. I want to do this for the rest of my life. Scrap the school and yeah, let's just do the music. So that's kind of where we'll stick from that and then, you know, still you know, just keep trotting along doing it and love it. That's good. Oh, can you describe your style of music? Um, it's very sort of, I suppose it's roots and blues. It's kind of like, um, I suppose my main sort of influence is, I mean, I was more into sort of rock, I was more into Hendrix and Van Halen and Satriani, all that sort of guitar rock at the start. And then um, I was really a big blues fan uh, until like, later on at the end of high school when I, because uh, to me the, the blues was just kind of taught by blues. I never really heard much other stuff. There wasn't the internet back then, so you could. Yeah. Um, and, and where I grew up, it was just you could never hear much of it. So until I saw that movie Crossroads, actually, that kind of inspired me a lot. Really, that yeah. sort of changed. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. I mean, Steve I was in that. Yeah, I want to see that. But I'd never heard of Ray Cooter, I'd never heard of Robert Johnson yeah. until that movie. And when I saw that, I was just like, wow, there's another form of music I really love, you know, where all the, you know, actually comes from. And um, so that kind of got me. I learned every single lick off that movie. I was so enthralled by it. So um, that's kind of where my blues influence, that's where most of my blues influence right. comes from, is from that movie. So a lot of Robert Johnson, a lot of Ray Cooter, and I love Ray Cooter stuff. And, uh, and then I mix it up with sort of loud rock, I suppose. And, I love sort of modern stuff as well, like Muse and, and some old sort of Faith Done War and all that sort of loud rock, but I love infusing it with roots and blues, so somewhere in between the two. There. So as a one man blues man, have you got any tips for anyone who wants to follow in your footsteps? One man, um, I guess, uh, I mean the great thing about it is there's so many gigs out there and you can tour quite easily. That's, um, I mean, I, I came through it by chance, really. I was in a band and my band split up. Uh, half of them went overseas and, and I went overseas as well. But we went to different places and I thought, well, we're going to stop for about a year or so. Let's, I'll try it solo just to keep the name going. And, um, and um, I ended up getting all these gigs in Malaysia and it turned out to be really good and it kind of really worked as solo. I just bought a loop pedal there and um, so I was just sort of learning it, how to use it. and. Um, and I think just from that moment, even from the very first gig I did, I, I really enjoyed it. I, I found it a huge challenge. Um, but, uh, and it's really, really different going up solo than the band. It's much, I, I, sometimes I miss the band because it just seems a bit, you know, uh, not easier, but just it feels, you know, if you buy yourself on stage, it's all up to you. Right? So the pressure's on you. Um, but at the same time, I love it. So it's, it's I don't know, I've just got addicted to it and it seemed to work really well. And, and, uh, so that's the main reason why I can do solo. But I suppose uh, uh, the best thing about being solo is, yeah, just um, you know you can write and do everything you want, and, um, and write the music the way you want, and, and, and do things at the pace that you want, which is hard. So you have got one person's going at this speed, one person's going at that speed, and that can cause confliction, uh, and some also musical differences and all that sort of stuff. Whereas this is like I've only got to argue with myself, which can happen sometimes. You mentioned about uh, looping. Can you explain a little bit about looping? Um, looping is just basically a little electronic device, it's like a live recording unit, which um, you plug one of your instruments into, whether it be a guitar or a bass, uh, and then plugs into it. You hit a button, you play something for a bar or two, uh, and then you hit another button, and it just plays back what you just played. So it's like a live recording unit, and um, and you can add layers. And Build them up and take them back down, and sort of creates that sort of full band sound. And it's it's so much fun because you can kind of experiment if you feel like singing the song or changing to a different key or just yeah. doing a different rhythm. It's kind of it's really good to bring up the dynamics. Sometimes as a solo person, it's hard to have that band dynamic. So with looping, you can build it up and have that full sound and bring it right back down. So I, that, I love looping. For the second I I saw it, I got into it by a. Guy I 
I saw, um, it was kind of very Jeff Buckley, beautiful finger flame, and Jeff, he was doing the thing, and, um, and he'd just do a nice cool passage, and then he'd do a little melodic thing over the yeah. top, and I've got this beautiful, he was a one man sort of guy, and that, I, as soon as I saw that, I was like, wow, what is that pedal? I went out and bought it the next day. And, oh. So I didn't actually use it for about a year and a half because it took me a long time to get my head around it and you know, get it working quite. But um, but no, it's, it's just it's a, it's such a good invention. It's such a good writing tool, jamming tool. Well, there you go, folks. It's the Claude Hay. Awesome. <laughs>